Like I mentioned, Gramex has a wide variety of components from data to deploy, but there is no reason every application needs to use all of those. In this particular application, we used eight components, and I'm going to show you how four of these were built. Let's start with how the application starts, which is the UI component library. I'm going to show this on my machine. Uh, I have a version of Gramix installed already. And I'm going to talk about how we start building an application. The process is straightforward. I'm going to increase the screen a bit. Uh, the command that you run is Gramix init. And what that, let me just create a new folder and do it there. So when you run Gramix in it, what that does is creates a basic scaffolding, copies a series of files, and you are set to create a new application. This application comes built in with some basic capabilities, uh, like a UI component library. So we have version one. Uh, let's start Gramix. It comes in with a UI component library. It comes in with a default set of charts. It comes in with a look that's like this allowing you to log in log out and a few other things that you can start tweaking directly it's entirely based on standards so you don't need to learn anything more than html css javascript if you want to tweak anything on the client side nothing more than python if you want to tweak on the server side now let me show you how for an application like this the base ui was scaffolded one of the parts in Gramix is the UI component library. And this UI component library has a variety of visual components. Uh, and before going into the visual components, let me talk about the theming capability. You can decide what colors, fonts, and styles you want. So let's say I want to choose a Metro style. That's a slightly different font and slightly different colors. Let's say I want the primary color to be more purplish. I want the body background to be a little bit yellowish. And I want the font uh, for the body to be Calibri and Roboto condensed for the heading. And I want a much bigger H1 font size, let's say five red. When you apply this, it rewrites the entire theme. And you can use that theme as part of your own application at one shot. Now, this is the generated code, but let me show you the way it works by taking you through an example. From Gramix in it, I have a simple uh, application. This application actually just has static content. Bear with me for a minute. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> this application just has some static content. Well, actually, it's kind of dynamic. The charts are dynamic, but this is what I have. I don't quite like the choice of blue. I don't quite like the choice of font. And I actually want to replace it with the style that we had here. Not that this is uh, particularly good design. But let's say instead of the blue, I want a purple. And instead of this uh, warning yellow, I want a slightly greenish shade. Now, when we apply this theme, it gives me a link. And this link has a series of URL query parameters that allows me to change the colors. How exactly do these work? Well, The entire structure for generating UI components is based on a microservice that exposes themes through a REST API, which means that I can change things like, let's take the primary color. Instead of the default primary color, I can say I want purple as a primary color. And instead of, uh, let's say, the warning color that we had here, um, I want, let's say, green or lime. 
let's re-render that what's happening is that now behind the scenes this has reconstructed the entire theme to pick the two colors that i want similarly changing the fonts and changing the overall styling is just a matter of picking a rest a, a, a theme from using a rest api this also allows the user to be able to change the theme if they want the entire ui component library is based on this premise that it's possible to be able to pick what we want on the ui side directly from the front end without having to explicitly write any backend code all you need is to pick what you want through a ui such as what you saw, a ui such as what you saw on the uh, Granix guide where you can pick and choose the theme and the color combinations and get a link that you can directly end with. What this did for us was in terms of lines of code, we ran it parallelly. What would it take to be able to do this with and without the UI component library? And over 1,200 lines were saved. And in terms of effort, that was a 4% day saving. 